What about Thor? Off world. Captain Marvel. Unavailable. But I'm just a friendly neighborhood Spider Man. Initiating content. Top 5 MCU Phase 4 Predictions Number 5. Marvel Studios has at least 20 films on the docket, after Avengers Endgame. One thing is certain about the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it isn't going to end anytime soon. Not only is there the obvious financial windfall the MCU has granted Disney, the powers that be at Marvel Studios have also been rather explicit about the depth of their plans. Kevin Feige noted the studio is 22 movies in, and they've got another 20 movies on the docket that are completely different from anything that's come before, intentionally. That should keep the Marvel Cinematic Universe in theater for years to come. Number 4. Which films will be in Marvel Phase 4? What movies can we expect to see in Phase 4 and beyond? The long-awaited Black Widow solo movie is finally in development, and Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige has confirmed Doctor Strange 2 for some point in the future. Black Panther 2 is bringing director Ryan Coogler back to the MCU for more tales of Wakanda. As for Guardians of the Galaxy 3, the roller coaster ride that was James Gunn's firing and rehiring has delayed the movie, but it's in development too. When it comes to new properties, the super-powered beings called the Eternals are on the way, and a film starring martial artist superhero Shang-Chi, is also in development. Some sources have also reported that Marvel Studios is already making serious headway on a standalone Nova movie. Disney has been a bit shy on announcing other Phase 4 films, with Feige saying that they will be keeping it that way for as long as possible. Still, we can make some educated guesses as to what else might be heading our way. Marvel loves a sequel, so we would expect Captain Marvel 2 and maybe another Ant-Man and the Wasp film to be strong contenders for Phase 4. Number 3. The Fantastic Four, the X-Men, and Deadpool are inevitably going to appear. The aspect of the MCU's Phase 4 which fans are most excited about is undoubtedly the potential presence of the Fantastic Four, the X-Men, and even the R-rated Deadpool. Their addition to the established universe is made possible by the impending sale of most of 20th Century Fox's film and television holdings to the Walt Disney Company, but Marvel Studios will still have to wait until all the red tape is cleared before putting the characters into the MCU. According to Disney CEO Bob Iger, the company has plans for Avatar, Marvel's X-Men, Fantastic Four, Deadpool, Kingsman, Planet of the Apes and other Fox properties, so there's no need to worry about the future of those franchises. There have also been rumors that Sony wants Venom to cross over to the MCU in Spider-Man 3. Number 2. The Phase 4 plan includes an exploration of the Marvel Cosmos. The Guardians of the Galaxy, and the invading Chitauri in the Avengers, opened up the cosmic corner of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, a branch of canon that has been well explored on the comic book side of things. It's an area Marvel Studios plans to delve into with more fervor and phase for in its search for unfamiliar settings, with Disney CEO Bob Iger explaining to Vanity Fair, we're looking for worlds that are completely separate geographically or in time, from the worlds that we've already visited. Although Phase 4's first film and tone setter still has yet to be announced, there is reason to believe it's going to be the upcoming Eternals film, which is set to begin shooting this June, allowing a perfect timeline for the film to release in May 2020. In normal Marvel canon, Eternals are an offshoot of humanity, modified to have superpowers by the Celestials, a cosmic race introduced in the MCU via the Ego, the living planet in the second Guardians of the Galaxy film. Kicking off Phase 4 with Eternals would set to solidify the cosmic theme, which could then be built upon with already announced films. Guardians Vol. 3 will presumably take place in space and, following the events of Avengers Endgame, would also include Thor, pushing the space theme to include more of the MCU's cast. 
Doctor Strange 2 writer, Robert C. Cargill, stated last year that a sequel would focus on the villain, Nightmare, and his dream dimension. Given the cosmic theme, it might also include the space sorcerer, Krugar, who was introduced in Guardians Volume 2 as a Ravager. Number 1. Beware the new supervillain. Finally, Avengers Endgame's use of time travel sets up the introduction of a classic Marvel villain, Kong the Conqueror. Kong is one of the Avengers' most formidable foes, a time traveler from the future who has made his base in the realm of Limbo, and from that timeless reality aims to conquer all of time and space. As noted, the Quantum Realm is clearly the MCU analog for Limbo, and indeed the mysterious city glimpsed in Ant-Man and the Wasp corresponds visually with Kang's home of Chronopolis. It's doubtful that Marvel will rush to introduce Kong, though. Like Thanos, he's one of the most powerful forces in Marvel Comics, and frankly it is not hard to imagine Marvel Studios making him the overarching villain of a future saga. Just as Thanos dominated the Infinity Saga, so Kong has the potential to dominate future phases. But Avengers Endgame, with its use of time travel, its clear parallels to Limbo technology in the comics, and even its model of alternate timelines, seems like effective foreshadowing. Marvel has the next five years planned out in detail, with a general plan that extends a lot further, and it's reasonable to assume that Kong is a part of it. That was all the information we have available on the topic. We hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more interesting content. Thank you for choosing Artificial Archives and we hope you have a wonderful day.